Hi guys, um, just a very quick one tonight. Um, I know I say that almost every video, but hopefully this will just be a quick one. Um, <clears throat> as it is 1.27am at the moment, and it's, uh, you know, I'm getting a bit late. Probably head off to bed soon, as I say, I don't really feel like making videos, but I know I'll forget otherwise. Um, Basically, this is to show you a new little app for, um, it's exclusive to RS10 at the moment. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you a little intro to this app, I suppose. Now, if you're not a Rockmelt user, which most of you will not be, because it is still a beta software, it's not the most stable in the world, it's Chromium based, but it is nowhere near as good as Chromium or Google Chrome, and you know, I mean, I used to use it pretty heavily, and I went off it in the end. As I say, it's just not there yet. It's just not ready, and the UI is just ugly as hell. It just doesn't look right, especially on OS X. Um, so if you're not a Rockmelt user, yet you're a frequent Facebook or the likes, you might use softwares like TweetDeck or Seismic, or you might, if you're on a Mac like me, if you're using OS X, um, you might have, um, sorry for that, you might have um, browsed the App Store looking for Facebook related um, apps and you may have come across ones like this one for example, Desktop Facebook. Now this is what I'm going to show you. That actually brings desktop, um, that actually brings Facebook to your desktop without, you know, how, you know, so you can access Facebook, you know, fully, pretty much without going to the site. What I'm going to show you does not do that. It's a way you can still utilise the full site and access the site to read your information, but get notified when you have new activity without having to constantly you know, refresh your Facebook tab or, you know, visit Facebook every five seconds or whatever. Because if you're like me and you, you have a Facebook profile, you use Facebook, but you're not hardcore on the website, then it's quite useful. It's a little notifier app, is what it is, and it can be found here on, if I'm, let me just One zoom in to the you. URL. Yes, sorry about that as well. Um, Facebook.com forward slash notifier. Basically, that's you or your URL, and um, then you'll get this little app, Desktop Notifications. It's basically called. Um, it'll say it says here in the description for Mac OS X, adds notifications to your desktop, alerting you whenever when interesting activity happens on Facebook! Exclamation part mark. Because yes, oh, it's amazing when you've got activity on Facebook, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever. Um, the note, the note that I've put here is the software is experimental and has only been tested on OS X 10.5, which would be Leopard. Now, I can guarantee you it works on the latest update of um, Snow Leopard, which is 10.6.7. As I say, that's what I'm using, and it works absolutely fine. So, a uh, big shout out to the developers here. Facebook user Lee Byron and Owen E. What, however you pronounce his surname, um, for creating a pretty solid app here. As I say, all you'd have to do is click on download app, it'll download the uh, DMG file, or whatever, you know, you get it installed and get it running, and basically you'll get this little icon up here. Now, first thing you'll want to be doing is um, if I can bring it up. Um, now, you see, uh, it's got me I'm logged in already, but uh, otherwise, um, it will ask for your Facebook credentials. You put them in, and that's all you need to do. And basically, it will notify you by growl and whatever. I'm not sure if this icon actually does anything because they haven't had any major new notifications and new activity since installing it yet. Um, but as well, if you want to take a brief glance, you just click on it, or if it's notified you. You know, you've received a ground notification or whatever, you just click on it, and here it will give you a quick summary. Um, you can also update your status and whatever, you can send status updates from this app just by clicking on 
that update status and what that will do is it will bring up a little window like this and then you just update your status like that um, as for getting rid of it oh, just click it again if you didn't want to update your status um, clicking on your name I should think will bring you to your profile page um, clicking on newsfeed or open your default browser and show your newsfeed on the Facebook website this is all done through the main website and then excuse me below that you'll see your notifications list and that's pretty much all your recent activity um, and then here you get notifications of new inbox messages um, and then you can access your preferences and you can quit the application so say you have a new um, you know, a notification like one leaves, you'll just click on it, it'll open your default browser, take you straight to the Facebook website and pretty much show you what you need to see. Um, that's pretty much it. As I say, I've started using that now, as I say, and for Twitter I've used the main Mac Twitter app, as I say, and um, that's good enough for me now. I'm using Safari my default browser again for now. Um, so yeah, that's about all I can think about with it at the moment. I'm getting surprisingly really tired, so I might be getting myself some sleep soon. Um, any questions, leave them in comments and I'll try and answer them um, as best I can when I'm up to it. As I say, when I'm more awake with it. Um, but otherwise, just visit the URL, download the app, try it out for yourself, and you'll see how it, you'll see how it works. So. Um, this is Jay at 100R, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.